Okay, so I'm stupid, but what else is new? Apparently, that last little run to the beam to the citadel is the last part of the game. Then it's game over. End credits. All my decisions went to waste. But, like I said, I did not know that. <laughs> so... But I'm kind of glad I stopped it there because now it gives me some time to clear my head and actually talk about Mass Effect like I wanted to from the very beginning. This kind of will be my review of the series, what I liked about it, what I didn't like, and then I'll go into the actual ending. I probably won't talk a lot during the ending because I want to see what the big deal about it is, why there was so much controversy over it so I guess starting from the very beginning the main reason why I got the Mass Effect trilogy was I had saw it in GameStop for brand new for like $20 and I'm thinking that's a good deal for three games and I've never played it before and of course a lot of people talk about how good Mass Effect 2 is and how terrible the ending for Mass Effect 3 is and nobody talks about Mass Effect 1 so play Mass Effect 1 and I I talked about it a lot in the first video that I did um, the major major thing that I didn't like about it was the driving section was really bad and um, I never talked about the powers and an upgrade option but thinking about it now in retrospect they were really overwhelming there was a lot lot to, uh, that you could put your powers into or your points into to upgrade and I never really knew what I wanted to put it in um, until I had gotten full power full um, leveled up all the way and then when I wanted to put stuff in other powers I couldn't I couldn't respect the powers or the points so I was kind of stuck with it but um, of the three the one is probably my least favorite um, mainly because it seemed of the three it was the easiest out of the bunch uh, for I guess it's because how I got how I had mine set up I was um, I wasn't a sentinel which you can have heavy armor on I only had mid armor on but my powers allowed me to basically sit there and turtle and be a defensive tank and um, my shotgun never would overheat so that's basically why it felt like the easiest out of the bunch to me um, moving on to two uh, I was kind of disappointed that uh, I when I my character was fully leveled out maxed out level and um, when I moved my character over it was only level five and I know Mass Effect 2 had only level 30 was the max, so I couldn't be a level 50 and then go into the move to Mass Effect 2 and be another level 50. Um, however, I kind of wish that it would have done was made my level like 15, like half, but um, I guess basically not starting out at zero was better than nothing. Uh, Mass Effect 2 was... As far as difficulty, it seemed just right to me. There wasn't anything that was too hard or too easy throughout the game. Um, if I had anything that was probably I didn't like, um, the transferring level over, not being probably higher level than what I think I should have been, um, I don't know, I, I guess it's just me, but I didn't really care that much about this, uh, that I was working for Cerberus. And even in the game, it was like, that was the feeling too. So, uh, I didn't care working for Cerberus in Mass Effect 2. Uh, the Citadel, oh, here's another thing, the Citadel. In Mass Effect 1, the Citadel was this huge open place that you could go around and explore and find different things and talk to different um, NPCs but then in Mass Effect 2 it was just a one small area that you explored you didn't get to go to like the NPCs or the um, um, 
the the like the nightclub well there was a nightclub but it wasn't that great compared to Mass Effect one. Um, it was just when you you would you go from this big area in Mass Effect one to Mass Effect two and it was just really small and of course you could you could visit different areas like Ilos and um, not Ilos but uh, whatever that other place is and Omega and those were cool visiting other places. But they were still, they weren't as big compared to Mass Effect 1. But, um, I guess that's basically all I can say about 2. And then, um, <clears throat> finally Mass Effect 3. The, you, I was level, maxed out level 30 in Mass Effect 2 and then moved to Mass Effect 3. And I carried the same level, the same powers, whatever I chose to upgrade, everything. Uh, which I like that. I like that a, a lot. But I hated that some of the decisions that I made it, that I made didn't really matter. Like I mentioned before about how I picked Anderson for the council, but it didn't matter. The game wanted it to be Udine, or I did Legion's uh, uh, side mission where I rewrote the uh, the Geth. Uh, which didn't matter. They were still going to fight me. In Mass Effect 1, I exterminated the Ragni. Didn't matter. I was still fighting Ragni like warriors. So, it w it's really kind of discouraging how they say your choices really matter, but when in reality, they really don't. Which, there's kind of this video that talks about the illusion of choice, which is very accurate. You uh, You make one choice, and it seems to go one way, but they'll circle around back to this. So, for example, I'm guessing that uh, if even if I carried over Ashley um, at some point here in Mass Effect 3, she would have died. Or she wouldn't have been a part of my team or something like that. Um, but anyway, I'm probably talking too much. Uh, I really need to get on with this and finish this. Um, I have not... I've I've seen videos about the ending, but I have no idea what what what's really gonna happen. My guess is that um, the kid that keeps popping up in the nightmares is some sort of creator, of course, that creates the Reapers for some reason. Um, that's my guess from what I've seen. I don't I, like I said I don't remember it too well, but um. It's kind of funny, whenever, whenever the first game first came out, I made the joke, or there was a joke that goes around that the ending is just different Instagram filters. Um, and that joke was spread around a lot until the uh, extended cut DLC came out. And then those jokes kind of faded away, which then the game was getting two years old at that time. So, um, but um, all in all... I've enjoyed Mass Effect. The games were good. Um, if there's a Mass Effect 4, I will definitely pick it up. If there's a Mass Effect trilogy remake for like the Xbox One or PlayStation 4, I probably will not get that because I've put a lot of hours into these games and I'm just so tired and burnt out from these games. But it's it's been a good it's been a good uh, trip. For anyone that's um, that's not played these games, I recommend it. I don't highly recommend it. Like you have to buy this game now, but if you find like used copy or a uh, the trilogy for a cheap price, then I would I would definitely pick say pick it up. But for those that are on the fence about it, I would say you know it's late now. Wait for a. Uh, remastered on the Xbox One or PlayStation 4 to get it. Um, don't worry about getting it on the 360 or PlayStation 3 because it, you're it's way too late. <laughs> Seriously, it's way too late. But, um, yeah, I'm probably not going to be talking a lot in this part. Just uh, listening to what the game has to say. Um, I can't believe that I was literally just a few just a run away from the ending but at the time I had to I had to go I couldn't wait any longer and uh, I probably would have missed out on the ending to really sit down and take it in 
but now I'm here to uh, take it all in. Jeez. Glad they don't have really good aiming. This is this also this really reminds me of the uh, the ending to one because you had to run towards the conduit in um, Mass Effect One, and then you were on the Citadel. So that's why I thought this was uh, just another part. Oh no. Oh, thank goodness. Keep running. Seriously, just keep running. Normandy, do you copy? I need an evac right now. I hope they at least make it. Shepard. You gotta get out of here. I'm all right, Shepard. Don't argue with me, Liara. You're not leaving me behind. No matter what happens, you mean everything to me, Liara. You always will. Shepard. Oh, touching moment. Like I said, I really don't know what happens at this point, but I hope I get the choice to destroy the Citadel because it's been the the very problem of every single thing. Like nothing good has came out of the Citadel. Seriously, please don't destroy that. I'll just try the Normandy. Gee. I hope I at least get to, to destroy Harbinger. God. They're all gone. What? What? No, no, no. I can make it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, really? Please tell me I don't die here. Really? <laughs> wow. Well, the world's dead. Our world's gone. <sighs> That's actually kind of funny. What does me in? Fucking zombies. I should have some meta gel. Let me use some meta gel. I wish I could just skip this cutscene. Doesn't matter. If I can't kill those three husks, then it all be for nothing. There goes one.
too. There we go. No more. Plays no more. Come on, get up. Get up. This is just like the ending to uh, Metal Gear Solid 4. Sort of. Oh, really? Thank goodness for slow motion, uh, aiming. The more strength, the closer I get to the beam. Head to the light. Patriot. I'm assuming that's made it. I don't know. It's a trippy loading screen. Loading screen. Lo loading screen. Loading screen. I hope it was worth making this crucible. I really, really, really do. Guess who it was? Converge on the crucible. Protect it at all costs. What the heck is going on? Oh, I bet that hurt. And we're dead. Guess not. Shepard. Anderson. You up here too? Like a dead husk. Okay. Just gotta keep moving. It's dark. There's a human remains scattered. Sounds familiar. I'm in a dark hallway. Reminds me of your description of the collector base. Mm, no. Nah. Makes sense. them up on earth and send the people up here to be processed god damn abomination uh, i'm gonna keep moving the sooner we blow these bastards back to hell the better yeah that's what i'm thinking just blow the thing up but where the hell are we yeah it doesn't look like any part of the citadel i've been to I really, really hope we do blow up the Citadel. Whoa. Anderson. One of the walls here just realigned itself. The place is shifting, changing. I bet these guys are evil. And more hallways like the one I was in. I think I'm near an exit.
Oh, I can actually run a little bit. <laughs> I see something up ahead. Might be a way to cross over. Don't get too far ahead of me. <sighs> Where do you think you're at? Just found that chasm you were talking about. Hold on. I see something. A control panel, maybe. I'm just gonna go on. Yeah, okay. Good job. Anderson? This is what what it's like to run in a uh, Mass Effect One. Oh, oh my God! I had a feeling he might have been up here. Oh, that's not him. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was the elusive man. Anderson. He's not Anderson. Shepard. I can't. I underestimated you, Shepard. Oh, damn. What happened? I warned you. Control is the means to survival. Control of the Reapers, and of you, if necessary. Mm. They're controlling you. Of course they are. I don't think so. Why waste your time with us if you can control the Reapers? Because I need you to believe. believe when humanity what? discovered the mass relays, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined, there were some who thought the relays should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. He looks like a husk now. What humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again, a thousandfold. But... <sighs> Only if we can harness their ability to control. Bullshit. We destroy them, or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. Maybe you're just so hungry for power that it's clouded your vision. No. No. It's not that simple. Isn't it? You're willing to give up anything for control. Yes. If not me, then who? Are you going to control the Reapers? There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers, and I know with certainty the Crucible will allow me to control. And then what? Look at the power they need. Look at what they can do. Oh no. I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them. Made it my own. This <laughs> isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. Let me just kill him, please. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? Then open the arms, let the Crucible talk. And use it to end this. I... I will. Do it! I... know it will work. You can't, can you? They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself! Prove it. You're... indoctrinated. No! No! 
the two of you so self-righteous? Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices. You sacrifice too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... It's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you now. You... You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're nothing more than the Reaper's plaything now. Now! You're the one who failed! Ah. At least I killed him. You could see it like I do, Shepard. It's so perfect. Just die. Jeez. of all that. Now what? <sighs> Commander? We did it. What did we do? Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. Best seats in the house. Okay, I'm really uh, confused. Feels like years since I just sat down. I think you earned a rest. Mm. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, child. You did good. I'm proud of you. Don't die. Thank you, sir. Anderson? No. This is the third saddest death. Scratch that fourth. Shepard? Commander? I, uh... What do you need me to do? Nothing's happening. The crystal's not firing. Yeah. Yeah, I could have told you that. I don't 
can't see. I'm not sure how to. Uh, all this way for nothing. What? Let's go. Whoa. I'm at a loss of words. Well, at least it's saving. Here's the kid. Wake up. Don't tell me how to live my life. What? Where am I? The Citadel. It's my home. Of course it is. Along with a number of other things. Who are you? Creator. I am the catalyst. Oh, close enough. I thought the Citadel was the catalyst. No, the Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? Nope. Perhaps I control the Reapers. They are my solution. Hmm. The solution to what? Chaos. The created will always rebel against their creators. But we found a way to stop that from happening. A way to restore order. By wiping out organic life? No. We harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We helped them ascend so they could make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. What do you know about the Crucible? The device you refer to as the Crucible is little more than a power source. However, Figures. in combination with the Citadel and the Relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You would not know them, and there is huh. not enough time to explain. Of course there is. first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. The Leviathan. Yes. They created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life. To establish a connection. They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve, but it was the only solution. You've said that before, but how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence, but those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, so the Levine, so the Reapers are basically like the the Geth to the Corians. The result is like Leviathans created the Reapers, and then the Reapers rebelled against them. Like the Corians created Geth, and the Geth rebelled against the Corians. 
Make makes sense. Preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. We're at war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. Of course not. I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is Maybe. it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it to be reborn in the form of a new reaper. Like yeah, you tried. Fire, we restore balance. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. You said you're the catalyst, but what are you? A construct. An intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. I was created to bring balance, to be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI? In as much as you are just an animal, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But you were created. Correct. By who? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict, so a new solution was required. The Reapers. Precisely. I met your creators. They told me what you did to them. We did as we were expected. They said you betrayed them. That you turned them into Harbinger. When they asked that I solve the problem of conflict, they failed to understand they were part of the problem themselves. The flaws of their organic reasoning could not perceive this. They lacked the foresight to understand their destruction was part of the very solution they required. Well. They've joined this war now. And I welcome their involvement. I am only facilitating their request. The defining characteristic of organic life is that we think for ourselves, make our own choices. You take that away, we might as well be machines just like you. You have choice more than you know. The fact that you were standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. Hmm. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. <laughs> what do you mean? The crucible changed me, created new possibilities. But I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. Say what? But be warned, others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. What exactly will happen? Your crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected, but those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. Hmm. The war? But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Of course not. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There is. 
Of course there is. Instead, use the energy of the crucible to seize control of the Reapers. Well, the elusive man was right. So the elusive man was right after all. Uh, I just said that. Yes, but he could never have taken control. Because we already controlled him. Yeah, we knew that too. But I can. You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. What the heck? Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. I didn't fight this war so I could give up everything I have. And I do not look forward to being replaced by you, but I would be forced to accept it. Not if I refuse to do it. There is another solution. Oh, fucking course. Synthesis. What? That is. Add your energy to the crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework. A new DNA. Explain how my energy can be added to the crucible. There is little time left, but I will try. Your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what exactly? The energy of the crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Organics seek perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have tried a similar solution in the past, but it has always failed. Why? Because the organics were not ready. It is not something that can be forced. You are ready, and you may choose it. You're asking me to change everything, everyone. I can't make that decision. I won't. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? That's beside the point. Your time is at an end. You must decide. No. <laughs> I'm gonna end this war on my terms. Then you will die knowing that you failed to save everything you fought for. I fight for freedom. Mine and everyone's. I fight for the right to choose our own fate. And if I die, I'll die knowing that I did everything I could to stop you. And I'll die free. So be it. Hmm. He was happy about that. The cycle continues. Did I screw up something? I hope not. If you are hearing this, then there is still hope. I guess I didn't. That you can avoid the same mistakes we made. 
We fought the Reapers, but we failed to stop them. Oh. I don't like this ending at all. We did everything we could. We built the Crucible, but it didn't work. We fought as a united galaxy, but it wasn't enough. I only hope the information in this capsule is enough to help you before it's too late. My name is Dr. Liara Tassoni. Herein lies the recounting of our war with the Reapers. Hmm, I don't like this ending at all. Not one bit. Well, that, that actually did suck. So... Yes. Can I go back and do it again? Yes. Did that all really happen? We'll never know exactly what it was like, but yes. The archives tell the true story of those who came before us. They fought a terrible war, so we wouldn't have to. And that's why we have peace. Yes. Without everything they accomplished, without the information they passed down, we too would be threatened. What else do we know about the Shepherd? Just what we have in the archives. <laughs> but I've only told you a few of the stories. Can you tell me another one, please? It's getting late, but... Okay. One more story. So, I guess I messed up. <laughs> I picked the wrong option. Can I go back? Hmm. So... Yeah. I don't know what to say. Let me go back and finish it this time. Oh, what the... What? What? What is going on? What? What? No. Uh, I I need to figure out what's going on. So, like I said, I'm stupid. Nothing new there. Apparently, I had to make a choice. I couldn't just say, fuck you, I'm doing my own thing. I really had to make a choice. So... This this time I'm going to make a choice. I'm not going to stick it to the weird thing. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. The elusive man option basically the Anderson option the elusive man option the everything becomes one option basically basically do the Super Mario Galaxy option but I can you will die you will control us but you will lose everything you have I didn't fight this war so I could give up everything I have and I do not look forward to being replaced by you, but I would be forced to accept it. Not if I refuse to do it. There is another solution. Because... Fuck you, three options. And that is... Add your energy to the Crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life 
into a new framework. A new DNA. You're asking me to change everything. Everyone. I can't make that decision. I won't. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? That's beside the point. Your time is at an end. You must decide. Let's get this over with. Do what you must. Blue or green? So, I can do the option, the elusive man option, or the, uh, Super Mario Galaxy option, where everything just gets restarted. I'm, I'm going for the Anderson option, to destroy it. That's what the Crucible is for, to destroy the Reapers. So, this is my choice. Hopefully it's a good one. This music though. Something... Every time I look over, my video freezes for just a split second. Hopefully it's not messing up. But anyway. Yep, that was it. Anderson would be proud. Oh, Edie. Liara. Everything mm, dies. All I think. Fleets, the crucible is armed. Disengage and head to the rendezvous point. I repeat, disengage and get the hell out of here. Joker, listen. We have to go. Yes. Sorry, Joker. music oh everybody dies not just reapers thank goodness that was the whole point of the freaking crucible anyway to destroy the reapers Stopped and then just the right time. Is that Cortez? Ah, they're all gone. This guy is actually clearing up. Funny. Man, 
mass relays. No, destruction of that. Must be going around, must be going through the mass relays to destroy all the um, Reapers. Makes sense. I hope nobody was in that blast radius. Oh, the Asaris. Krogan. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Good job, man. So now what? What's going on? I'm a little bit confused. In the jungle. Well, at least one person made it. Two people, the two most important. Be hitting on my girl. Get your own girl. Someone tells me this was an uncharted planet. Of course they have. Against all odds, and in the face of the greatest threat this galaxy has ever known, we survived. We suffered many losses. The relays are severely damaged. But we... No, the relays are dead. They're gone. This victory belongs to each of us. Every man, woman, and child every civilization on every world is that Kasumi? Zahid now as we take our first steps toward restoring what we lost we must remember what it took to win This wasn't a victory by a single fleet, a single army, or even a single species. If this war has taught us anything, it is that we are at our strongest when we work together. 
Of course Maybe it is. We put down our grievances long enough to stop something as powerful as the Reapers. Imagine what we can achieve now that they are defeated. It will take time, but we can rebuild everything that was destroyed. Please not the Citadel. Our homes, our worlds, our fleets and defenses. All of this and more. Together, we can build a future greater than any one of us could imagine. A future paid for by the sacrifices of those who fought and died alongside us. Mm. All the people that I killed, well, see. or died. Forgive me, Grunt. Forgive me, Morden. <laughs> the wall's not that long. Edie. Edie didn't make it? Oh, that's sad. I really thought Edie was going to make it. And while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. It seems <clears throat> it seems very fitting that Liara puts this up. And we will honor oh. those who died to give us that future. I'm still kind of shocked that Edie didn't make it. That's weird. It's kind of weird that they, at the ending, didn't show Caden. Of course, he's he he died in Mass Effect One, so I don't blame them for not showing that. Seven. Yeah, that's what everybody is so worked up about. All right, we can seriously skip these credits for real this time. Did that all really happen? Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so the sending's different. Ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. About the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. That's weird that that's different. Interesting, though. Yeah, okay, that's the same. So, that's the real ending this time. Uh, I don't, I don't know what to say. I can see where some of the people are mad that, um... Uh, they everybody thinks that Shepard's dead, but no, it's not. But whatever, it 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 is what it is. Uh, I'm not mad by the ending. I I think it's okay. Um, 
yeah, that's it. I'm not going to talk anymore. Thanks for watching this video. I'm tired. I'm done with this. Uh, I don't have many achievements left in the game. Last time the insanity was the last achievement, but sadly this time it's not. Um, I gotta clean up some on the DLC. Three achievement for DLC. Uh, do that. Do that. Yeah, it's just easy stuff that I can clean up, and then I'll have this to 100%, and I'll be 100% the entire Mass Effect collection. But, anyway, I'm done.